I'd like to call the Tuesday, May 8th special call meeting to order. It's approximately 6.07 p.m. Roll, roll call, Madam Clerk. Councilwoman Bailey? Here. Councilman Burgess? Here. Councilman Roth? Here. Vice Mayor Shelley? Here. Mayor Porter? Here. Uh, the only order of business is um, new market tax credit, Mr. Manager. Mr. Oh, Gemma is, Gemma is large and in charge. <laughs> well, thank you. It's good to see you all. Welcome back. Thanks. Tonight, the item before you is um, additional allocation for Homestead Station. So we've already received $8 million in allocation from Banco Popular's group, Popular Community Capital. They have offered us an additional $8 million for Homestead Station. So the first $8 million is exclusive to Cybrary. So as we get closer to closing the transaction, they have been happy and impressed with the work. And so they had additional allocation. And so they offered it to us. And that's what this letter is here before you. So these are new market tax credits from Popular Community Capital. This is, again, the new market tax credit program under the background section. It's a federal program created under the Community Renewal Tax Act of 2000 to stimulate economic and community development in America's low-income communities. The program, Section 45D of the Internal Revenue Code, provides investors with seven years of federal tax credits for making investments in a wide range of businesses located in low-income communities. The proposed new market tax credit financing will provide up to $8 million of funding subsidy to Homestead Station in the form of a new market tax credit. Staff recommends that Mayor and Council accept the revised conditional non-binding reservation of federal new market tax credits in an amount up to $8 million from Popular Community Capital LLC's 2015-2016 combined new market tax credit round in support of Homestead Station and authorize the city manager to approve the letter in substantially the form attached. There is a memo attached as Exhibit 1 that I'd like to go over. This is a memo regarding the reservation letter for new market tax credits allocation from Popular Community Capital, LLC. The city of Homestead is evaluating new market tax credits financing to support the development of the city's Homestead Station project, a mixed-use entertainment, retail, dining, parking, and transportation facility. Popular Community Capital, LLC, PCC, has submitted a proposal to provide tax credit allocation to facilitate the new market tax credits transaction and use of the tax credit incentive financing. This is a summary of the letter of terms that they have provided. PCC will provide tax credit allocation of up to $8 million for the new markets tax credits transaction. There will be a sponsor fee of 4% of the allocation that is paid to PCC upon closing. There is an upfront deposit for this transaction of 320,000 that will be paid from the allocation. There will be an asset management fee paid to PCC during seven years, estimated at 52,000 per year. Payment for additional years may be required if transaction is not exited within two months of conclusion of seventh year. There will be an exit fee of the greater of 16,000 or the actual cost of unwinding the transaction paid to TCC to PCC at conclusion of transaction. Closing costs related to out-of-pocket expenses and professional fees of PCC. Ongoing compliance costs during seven years, greater of $12,000 or actual cost per year. A guarantee to be provided by the city. Potential investors proposing to commit to purchase the tax credit at 86 cents per tax credit dollar. The use of tax equity in conjunction with a leveraged loan will support the financing to a special purpose entity created to lease, improve, and equip Homestead Station. The investment will be subject to a put call option to unwind the new market tax credits transaction at the conclusion of a seven year compliance period. There will be a $20,000 deposit for third party costs and professional fees. This is the deposit that the city is asked to pay. This is the same deposit that we have made for all of the transactions in the past. Each group for each allocation requires a legal deposit. If we move forward on the transaction, that money will come back to us as a refund at the time of closing. If the transaction does not close because of some fault of Homestead, they will get to keep that $20,000. There will be an outside closing date of May 15, 2018. Staff recommends that mayor and council authorize the city manager to enter into the letter of commitment for the tax credit allocation from Popular Community Capital, LLC, facilitating the new markets tax credits transaction in support of the Homestead Station project. Are there any questions from council? 
Any uh, comments from the public? Any final questions? Mr. Roth. Hold on, it's not coming off. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. None of them are coming on. Mr. Burgess, you're on. Let me go ahead, John. No, I just wanted to say to Gemma and Kate and George and everybody, to meet you, everybody that's worked on this, obviously for these people to bring us more money forward, you guys have done an outstanding job. So I just wanted to say thank you for all your hard work. I know this has been a tough learning process and you guys have, have, have taken it uh, uh, to heart and, and really given 100% and I appreciate that. So I just wanted to tell you guys thank you for all your hard work. Thank you. John, you're the only one to speak. Keep going. There you go. There you go, Larry. I'm sorry. Just a quick question. I don't remember seeing this in the other packages we saw, but this upfront deposit for this transaction is $320,000. I know it doesn't relate to the 20000 that we've done in most of these other transactions, but who's responsible for that 320000 It would come out of the allocation when we receive it, so it's a deposit at time of closing. So just to refresh my memory, when they tell us they're going to give us an $8 million new market tax credit, what does that equate to dollars for the city? between 1.4 and 1.5 million, depending on fees. And, and to date, approximately how much in total will the city be receiving from these new market tax credits? On both projects, the total will be between six and 6.7 million. Okay. And I'm gonna reiterate what John said. Th this is a very confusing topic to most of us. And it's, it's very impressive, and I've heard this used before, um, these terms, new market tax credits, and people say, hey, we're going to go get some of this stuff. I don't think they ever get those because of the amount of time and work and energy and effort from, from all of you who work on these projects that, um, that goes into this stuff. And I truly appreciate your efforts as well, George and the staff that put this stuff together for us. Thank you very much for, for doing what you do. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Sir. Any other questions? Is there a motion? Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. That's all we have on the uh, special call, so we'll adjourn this and take about five minutes, and we'll come back for the um, COW, Committee to Hold.